What's up guys, it's Jay back again with Tech Everything. Last week we took a look at the build process here in my S4 mini case. Today we're going to take a look at the benchmarks, the temps, and the noise levels. Before we get started, I was able to overclock the 1050 Ti. I was able to overclock it pretty substantially. I got the clock up to 18, around 1850. Anything over 1900 megahertz, I was starting to see game crashes and stuff like that. It wasn't very stable. So 1850 was around the sweet spot for me, this card specifically. Uh, the memory, I was able to overclock 400 megahertz as well. So you're seeing a pretty substantial overclock and you will see that in the actual results. The first graphic will be the stock settings and the second will be the overclock. Now it seems like people always ask me about the temps that you get with the case like this, and I'll be happy to report that the temps were pretty good. As you see, the idle temps are pretty much part of the course. Not Nothing to worry about there, nothing exciting. The gaming temps, those are pretty good too. I mean, you can keep your fans at a pretty low speed there, so you keep the system quiet while gaming. And at max, this was under stress test, Fermark, and Prime95. As you see, the CPU went up to 84 degrees Celsius, which is higher than you would like, but still not reaching its thermal limit. Uh, for short bursts, that would be fine. And the graphics card remained a very, very low temperature in the 60s still. No matter what I was doing to this thing, I couldn't get it over around 62 degrees. So that, that's pretty good. In some small form factor systems, fan noise can be a major issue. They're really tight. A lot of times they have to run the fans at super high RPM just to get the components cool. So is that the case here? Well, the first clip you will hear is of the fans running at idle. And the second, obviously, is of them maxed out during the stress test. So you can hear what you'll normally be getting, typically, web browsing, that kind of thing, and the high end, the ultra high end of what you could expect from the fans. Now it's also important to note if you have a noisy component, a noisy CPU cooler, or a noisy graphics card fan, in this case, if you saw the review, you can also install 120 millimeter fans and remove those completely. So that does help if you have some noisy components. So that's the build. If you want to see the results in a easier to read form, I'll add them to the article on the website. I'll link that below for you guys. As always, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. I'm Jay, this is Tech Everything, and I'll see you next time.